this code right here. In the next two or three minutes, I'm going to tell you exactly why most women over 40 struggle to lose weight. Their metabolism is slowing down, yet it is because of something they're doing. And basically that means like not really eating enough. I'm going to give you some of the ways you don't eat enough. And I'm going to also give you the solutions that you need to do when it comes to that. One of the things that happens all the time is basically under eating in a very acute minute. That means like you're skipping breakfast or throughout the day, you're not really eating. And then over time in the evening, you're eating much more without really realizing it. And yet you are still under eating, not really giving your metabolism the clues that you're supposed to give it. The next scenario is that you think that you're under eating, you perceive as under eating, but you're really not really under eating. That means like you're very diligent during the week and then you overeat during the weekend. And yet the all average of your calorie deficit is not really the, is not, you're not really under eating. Yet your metabolism will slow down because you keep constantly yo-yo dieting and therefore that's the problem. The first two scenario, you probably want to comment in phase two because that means like you simply lack in the strategy to effectively lose weight. The third scenario is basically eating healthy versus eating not healthy, right? You feel like I'm eating healthy all the time and therefore I'm under eating. Again, you're perceiving like you're under eating uh, and, yet, and yet you're going from periods of indeed under eating and other periods of eating stuff like avocado, like nuts, and therefore you're eating healthy, yet you're eating high calorie dense food, which by nature doesn't really make you under eat. Uh, yet it will slow down your metabolism one more time because you keep going from period to fat, periods of kind of like restricting and eating too much. The next one, and obviously this is a little bit more rare, but but it's obviously present, is people really under eating, well, under eating over a long period of time or under eating during the day, meaning like you do a lot of cardio, a lot of classes, you're eating everything organic or soy based or, uh, or or kind of like restricting throughout the day you start your day with just a coffee and then you go ahead and have a light um, you know light lunch like a salad chicken salad and then you get to the evening and you eat something really complete but not a lot of calorie and that of course over time it slows your metabolism down and doesn't allow you to ever see the results you want to be seeing. If that's the case, you're probably into phase one. That means like you need to rehab your metabolism. And I'd love for you to comment down below metabolism. And of course, if you see yourself with any of this scenario, the first thing you must do is understanding that going back gradually and eating more, it's going to allow you to get your metabolism up, the metabolic structure up in order for you to consequentially lose weight. Because one of the worst thing you can do is kind of like looking for... Uh, consistently getting in shape and yet you keep losing and gaining the same weight over time and the other thing you must understand is the fact that it's not only about eating more but eating the right foods that is going to allow you not only uh, to have a proper metabolism function but also to not fall into cravings all the time if you one of the things that we see all the time is that people that under eat going through a period then of overeating simply because they cannot control their cravings. And if you feel like you want to get your cravings under control, comment down below cravings and I'm going to send you over this guide.